The pivot mechanics funding milestone got reached. First link in the description, the funding goals. And here we go, the first finished velvet on ball bearings. If you're interested in a new design, then check out my Etsy shop. I will also offer blade variations, a set of blades probably, since it is so easy to exchange now. Um, yeah, so here we have concrete, perfect for a drop test. It's gonna be brutal. Ah. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this one is the first iteration of the Velvet Trainer on ball bearings. Does that make sense? I don't even know. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth a living <laughs> to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So as you can see, or maybe not, I don't know, I pulled an all-nighter. I or it's so freaking brain dead, but it was hella worth it because well this is the first as I said the first iteration of the velvet belly sun trainer running on ball bearings so freaking amazing but I can't even stay straight anymore so of course I made a few mistakes and stupid me I literally printed four handles it takes five hours to print them and both of them are trash well, all of them. Because first of all, as you can see here, they are, well, I need to mirror them. I already did that and I also need to work on this thing because it's too small, it just broke apart. So yeah, two mistakes in one. But other than that, it is super smooth. It is actually crazy. Oh yeah, all of that. I covered it in this vlog if you're interested. Oh my God, I'm working on so many projects parallel. It is actually crazy. So this is one of the bearings, as you can see. Yeah, it's rather small, but it's not that small. It's actually, it, it has a, you know, it has a perfect size. I just heard this printer bringing down the plate. So yeah, here we go with another part. Perfect timing. So check it out. That's the blade right there with the holes for the bearings. So let's insert it. Let's insert one of them, just like that. I will possibly glue them in, most certainly, to make them stay in place. Just pressure fitting them won't be enough, I guess. Oh my god, and it's also kind of oily. That's why it's sliding around that much. Hmm. But yeah, that's how it looks inside, basically. And yeah, again, that's the well-defined product, basically. This is a 100% infill variation of the spear point with the ball bearings and I think I will I will only sell them as a 100% infill variation, especially when I put them on my Amazon and as you can see here, I redesigned the handle. There is no need to use washers because I basically designed them into the handle, well onto it I guess. And there isn't really a sweet spot when it gets to the pressure, so there is no need to experiment. Just go balls to the walls. There is actually no need to go full retard on them screws, but they can definitely handle a lot of force. And of course, design these washers, washers, you know, to only touch this inner ring. That's why you can tighten it up a fair bit. So yeah, this is definitely an amazing upgrade going from these bolts to freaking bearings. And well, the main reason why I did this is, well, first of all, I got the bearings yesterday and second of all the pivot mechanics funding milestone got reached breached well check it out first link in the description the funding goals there is more information regarding this upgrade and when you see this vlog there is a good chance that it will already be available on my etsy shop so from now on you can freaking buy a trainer with a ball bearings haven't seen that yeah that is just amazing and i already said i fixed the handles and i'm just printing black handles again yeah and i think i will also catch a bit of sleep and then i will be able to show you a proper version hopefully and yeah this is complete trash the blade warped actually let's go for a drop test hell yeah let's freaking go oh my god it is getting hot um yeah so here we have concrete perfect for a drop test it's gonna be brutal so brace yourself Well, actually, let's go for a controlled drop test, and that's like the flipping height. Ugh. One, 
Oh god, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's check the damage. Yeah, it's definitely not looking pretty any longer. But other than that, took it like a champ. So let's actually drop it like that on the tip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, but yeah, again, it's trash anyways. Three, four, five. Well, one thing's for sure, the 100% infill variation is hella sturdy. Check this out. Three, four. Oh, brass rod came out. No problem. And five. Okay, let's actually flip it for a second. It's still flipping amazing, feeling just as before, even though it's like cracked and all, but that does not seem like a problem to me. So yeah, let's step it up. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is taking a beating. There we go, the rod is back in. Oh my god, it's still flipping like a champ. Okay, so all I want to find out is where the weak spots are. As you can see, something just came off. What the hell? That was the shell. This is literally head hit. Well, I... Oh my God. What the hell just happened? I just dropped it only from head hit. What the hell happened? So that came out of nowhere. Okay, but as you can see, the blade broke on three spots at the same time. Okay, let's keep on. <laughs> That's weird, it's still working. Yo, that is hella weird. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, screw it. Whoops. Why is this thing so freaking sturdy? Oh my God, no way. Oh my god, <laughs> it's getting there, it is actually getting there, okay, that seems to be another weak spot, well, okay, obviously, obviously, <laughs> it's still flip able, it's crazy. Okay, I think once more, and then it's done. Oh my god, that just did it. So, there we go, that's, that's that. And that's freaking that. Let's review the damage. So here we go, first of all, let's have a look at this uh, blade. Uh, that's the point where it broke. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, now let's take a look at the weak spots of the handle. Okay, so one of them broke right here. The other one broke right here as expected previously the handles broke in this area right here because due to a design flaw basically sharp edges but i rounded off everything in here and now it didn't actually break at this point so that's a good thing that's what the handle looks like oh my god there is a huge crack running along the side of it but well throwing it up into the air that was kind of expected this took a massive beating oh my god this is also kind of interesting, seems like this outer layer, the shells are kind of separating from the inner layers, from the infill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, but all in all, I'm highly satisfied and impressed at the same time. And again, I did this to find out the weak spots and it turned out pretty much as expected. I already redesigned the hole for the nut and when it gets to regular flipping circumstances, it will possibly get dropped from a hip height, something like that. Well, there is always a possibility that something crazy will happen, but I think the chances are pretty low. But of course, I would never ever recommend it to abuse it like this, flip it 
above concrete like why would you ever do this this is like if this is a sweet looking trainer why would you abuse it but yeah now i definitely need to get a bit of sleep and i will see in a bit with the final version and here we go i'm back check this out that's the old handle uh, that's a new one as you can see i rotated the hole for the nut just a bit made it a bit bigger yeah and now it fits in without destroying the handle so yeah just like that sweet I'm currently printing a black spear point blade but since it is uh, that easy now to exchange them let's just insert this white one and as you can see two bearings in there unscrew the screws insert the blade and screw it back together easy as that and here we have it check this out crazy smooth the sounds are amazing oh my god what an upgrade But yeah, it's feeling amazing. It is so smooth. And the handle play is pretty ridiculously small. If you really try, then you can, well, check this out, you can, like you can shift the bearings inside these holes. So that is yet another problem that I need to solve somehow, but you can just readjust them Oh, that was the wrong direction. As you can see, they move around in their holes. I have to glue them in. Definitely need to glue them in. But yeah, we can just readjust it and then it's back to normal and it really doesn't affect it. Well, it doesn't affect the flipping. And here we go with the black spear point blade. Let's exchange them. And here we go, the first finished velvet on ball bearings. Yo, <laughs> this is awesome. It sounds so freaking legit. Hell yes. The actual sand pins will stay brass for now. I don't see a problem with uh, them. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. And well, if you're interested in a new design, then check out my Etsy shop. I will also offer blade variations, a set of blades probably, since it is so easy to exchange now. You can get yourself more than one blade exchange them whenever you want this is gonna be sweet and i already have a few ideas about coming up with a bigger belly song slightly bigger and then go for four ball bearings oh hell yeah oh hell yeah but that's enough progress for today smash that like button the way i just smashed together a new awesome belly song design bang the bell like crap pop, so that you never miss future belly song updates check the recent news on chrisviron.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow <laughs>